This tutorial explains how to calculate the sum and mean values of hours, minutes and seconds. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video I will show you an example and this example is based on the vector object that we can create with lines 2 and 3 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data object is appearing which is called myTime. And we can print this data object to the RStudio console by running line 4 of the code. And then you can see at the bottom that our data object is a character string vector and each of the elements of this vector contains hours, minutes and seconds. So let's assume that we want to calculate the sum of these time objects. Then we might try to apply the sum function to our data object. However, if you run line 6 of the code, you can see that at the bottom in the RStudio console an error message is returned because we cannot apply the sum function to a character vector. So if we want to calculate the sum and mean of hours, minutes and seconds, we first need to format our data properly and we can do that by using the functions of the Lubridate package. So in order to use these functions we first need to install and load the package as you can see in lines 8 and 9 of the code. I have installed the package already so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 9 of the code and after running this line of code we are able to use the functions of the package such as HMS as you can see in line 11 of the code. So in this line of code I'm applying this function to our time object and I'm storing the output of this in a new data object which we call myTimeHMS. So if you run line 11 of the code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data object is appearing and we can print this data object to the RStudio console by running line 12 of the code and then you can see that our character strings have been converted to hours, minutes and seconds. So now you might think that finally we might apply the sum function to these data. However, if you do that, an output is returned without an error message, but the output is still not making much sense because it simply adds up all the numbers in these data. So for that reason, we first need to convert our hours, minutes and seconds to the same metric. And we can do that as you can see in line 16 of the code. So in this line of code I'm using the period to seconds function to convert all our data into seconds. And I'm applying this function to our new data object myTimeHMS. And then I'm storing the output of this in another data object that I'm calling myTimeSeconds. So if you run line 16 of the code you can see that this data object is appearing at the top right as well. And if you run line 17 of the code, you can see at the bottom that our new data object contains seconds instead of hours, minutes and seconds. So in the next step, we can calculate the sum of this data object as you can see in line 19 of the code. So this time we are finally applying the sum function to our data object and then we are also storing the output of this in a new data object that we are calling my time seconds sum. So if you run line 19 of the code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data object is appearing and we can print this data object to the RStudio console by running line 20 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a sum object of the seconds in our data set. So at this point of the tutorial, we have calculated the sum of our time objects in seconds. However, we might convert these data into a period once again. And we can do that as you can see in line 22 of the code. And in this line of code we are applying the seconds to period function to our data object that contains the sum in seconds. And we are storing the output of this in another data object which we call myTimeSum. So if you run line 22 of the code, you can see this data object appearing at the top right and we can print this data object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 23 of the code and then you can see that we have created a new period object which contains the sum of our time objects in days, hours, minutes and seconds. So until now we have only calculated the sum of our time objects 
However, we can also calculate the mean of our time objects as you can see in lines 25 to 29 of the code. So in these lines of code, I'm using multiple functions in the same command. And for that reason, this code is much more efficient than the previous code where we have always created new data objects. However, if you run lines 25 to 29 of the code, you can see that another data object is appearing at the top right, which is called myTimeMean. And we can print this data object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 30 of the code. And then you can see that the mean of our hours, minutes, and seconds is 10 hours, 53 minutes, and 28.7 seconds. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.